Welcome back to A Few Minutes of Zion, and this time we are making sure to finish well. Tip tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tart and welcome back to A Few Minutes of Design, 52 activities to spark your creativity. Uh, this is a show where I take the little challenges on these cards here and just take you through my ideas of how I think we're going to finish them up. Let's take a look at the next one in the pile. Finishing well. Redraw or trace the shape on the other side of this card. The shape is unfinished. Finish it with a logical and pleasing way so that the outline is continuous. Okay. That to me immediately looks like a tail or a flame of some kind. So what I'm going to do is grab my iPad. Again, if you're following along, you can do this on a sketchbook or whatever. It doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to make a rough approximation of this shape using my pen tool here. It's pretty close. Maybe we can drag it a bit wider. And then we'll just neaten up the ends. There we go. That looks pretty much there. We'll take it uh, and we'll just duplicate this a few times so that we can uh, work with it a bit easier. Let's merge these two layers, shrink them down. And let's do four copies. Duplicate this again. We've got our four copies there, which we will shrink. Pinch together, reduce the opacity, stick a new layer on top and get cracking with our designs. So immediately for me, one thing that I'm thinking of is this could be like a flame of some kind if we twisted it on its side. It says a continuous closed system, but it doesn't say that you can't add more stuff to it. So once we've made it a continuous closed line, what you could do is then also have further things coming off like so. Um, looks less like a flame and more like a flower at this point. So you could then again add more things like so. A stem maybe to the bottom. And you've got yourself a little kind of flower logo there. Um, it also could be the uh, tail or something. Or indeed its entire body. We would just add a little cartoon head. There we go, we've got a lovely little snake. Again, if you want it to be a continuous line, you just add eyes and things from the sides. So they're always touching. And if you wanted tongue, you could do that too. If you want to add a bit of interest, you could probably add like a little pattern. Again, as long as it's all touching, it is one continuous line, I suppose, technically. Um, what else could we do to this then? Let's have a look at what it says. Redraw or trace, uh, finish it with a logical and pleasing way so the outline is continuous. Logical and pleasing doesn't necessarily mean um, it has to mean something, it could be abstract. So perhaps we take this and we just take it into a mirror. Like so. Yeah, it could be the start of like a, an S or a tribal tattoo or something like that. Um, continuous outlines mean You'd have to add extra bits on which were connected. Maybe like so. Uh, into a more kind of abstracty thing. But I quite like just that S. Really simple. Quite nice. Final one then. Let's have a look. Uh, to me, this also could be somebody's eye. You want it to be a continuous shape. That's fine. So that could be the highlight. This would be their pupil. And if you wanted them frowning, you could add in something like that. Doesn't much look like an eye by itself, but if we were to lift this uh, onto its own layer, copy and paste, we just hide this other layer um, quickly, duplicate it and freeform, uniform rather, distort it over here. Um, oh God, uh, I'm looking for flip horizontal. I forgot that Procreate had flip horizontal. That could definitely now be a pair of eyes, especially if you would add a little nose and smiley face underneath it as well. <laughs> um, let's go back to our original four then. All right, that looks pretty good. We have a kind of flower, a snake, an S shape, and an eye. Pretty good, pretty quick, like this one. Really short and simple. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video, and I'll see you all next time on another episode of Tip Top.
Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.